Hey guys, it's Sam. As you can see by the title, today we're going to be talking about the rumors of Harry Styles being with Olivia Wilde. I just want to preface this video by saying I'm not claiming to be like a news source, I'm not claiming to know all the answers, and I'm not even claiming to give you guys all the factual evidence. This video is strictly just me giving my opinion on what I've seen. A lot of things are just alleged, just putting that out there. So let's get right into the video. So basically this whole topic about Harry and Olivia, I think it's been going around for maybe a couple months, but it's really been more blown up in the media this past week. So basically it all started with Harry being photographed at his friend Jeff's wedding. And before we go on, can we just talk about Harry in a bathrobe? I was really confused by this and I think a lot of people were confused by this too. Why is he wearing a bathrobe? I mean, no one else was wearing a bathrobe, right? I mean, don't get me wrong, like he looks good. He's also wearing slippers. I think like Harry were you late or something did you just come out of the shower and you're like oh yeah I forgot there's a wedding because honestly that's what it looks like then we saw other pictures of Harry in a suit so he looks more presentable for the wedding and again it looks like a small gathering because of COVID and everything and it's nice to see Harry wearing a mask because I think there were other pictures where Harry was spotted not wearing a mask clocked. But yeah, these were some really nice high quality pictures of the wedding. As we all know, Harry Styles is a very private person. Like, I'm positive that if Harry were to be dating someone, he wouldn't go on social media and tell everyone. And we also know that Harry barely goes on social media unless he's promoting something for his album. I feel like we'll never really know who Harry's with unless he casually says it in an interview or he gets married. And then we'll definitely know, right? <laughs> Harry's even said in the past that he has a lot of friends who are girls and sometimes people confuse it for relationships. I mean, he did look pretty close with Olivia in these pictures as well. Not really sure where they were. I feel like a lot of us at the end of the day, we just want Harry Styles to be happy. And that goes for any of the other boys as well. And that goes for Louis too with Eleanor. We just want them to be happy at the end of the day, you know? I think it's sometimes hard to let go of a certain idea of who you pictured someone with. Like sometimes it is hard for fans to see their idol dating someone. I feel like normal people are like, okay, they're regular human beings. They can date whoever they want. And yeah, that is true. But like when you've been in a fandom for years, sometimes it's hard to let go of what you've always thought would happen. You know what I'm saying? And again, I'm not saying that Harry and Olivia are dating. I don't know anything. Some of you guys think that I know the boys personally and that's far from the truth. Trust me, if I knew them personally, I'd probably have to sign an NDA and I wouldn't be able to spill any tea on this channel. <laughs> But anyway, regardless of what Harry and Olivia are, whether they're really good friends or if they consider themselves family or if they do have a crush on each other, Harry deserves to be happy. Whatever his relationship status is, he probably wants to keep it on the down low. It's really no one's business. I understand people sometimes disagree with that statement because Harry is an A-lister celebrity. His life is kind of out there for everyone to speculate. So a lot of us feel like it is our business. And that is true to a certain extent. We do know a lot of Harry's life. He puts it out there. But I think when it comes to really intimate stuff, especially when we don't know what exactly is going on, I think it's okay to make certain speculations, but then just kind of like sit back and just wait for things to happen. We don't want to act like the paparazzi or the tabloids because we know the boys find them annoying. But speaking of tabloids, some bullshit came out like usual. No woman's too old for me, except those my mom's age. Harry Styles 2012 interview, New Romance with Olivia Wilde. And yeah, this was from the Daily Mail. I thought this was from The Sun at first. I hate articles like this because they literally made the headliner sound so fabricated and they made Harry sound like an asshole, a womanizer. Like no woman is too old for me, except those my mom's age. You're painting Harry to look so bad. I don't even know if Harry's ever said that. So they're literally putting words into his mouth. I hated every bit of that. 
Also, aside from the pictures, I found some more news about Harry and Olivia. Thank you to Stylence and Revolution 28 on Instagram for posting this on your story. Credit to you. It says Harry has already been introduced to Olivia's kids and she has been spending most of the night out of the week with him. The last I heard, they were getting serious and she's basically moved in with him. Harry is also set to film for a movie later this year, so maybe Olivia will go with him, considering Jason is due to film there as well and the kids can tag along. They spend New Year's together in Santa Barbara and there's more photos of them that are going to be released, just not sure when. That's interesting, but I'm gonna take it with a grain of salt. So the account who posted that has this in their bio saying statements made on this account have not been independently confirmed. This account does not claim any information published is based on fact. I mean, if this person wrote this before all those photos came out, then maybe they're more credible because we did get a lot of photos of Harry and Olivia. I've been in the fandom for years and we've gotten a lot of receipts from these Instagram accounts saying that they know things, they have tea, they know the timeline. Maybe it's true, but it's like, I need more factual proof. And this new source, Gossip Cop, says that Harry Styles caused the split between Olivia. I hate how it says Harry Styles caused the split. Like you're making it sound like Harry's a home wrecker. It's not like he went in there and caused the split. I just hate how people are painting Harry out to be this awful person. Then this other thing says, no wild fling. Harry Styles is really serious with Olivia Wilde and has already met her kids. I love these puns that they put in the headlines. It's just so cringy. I also hate how they're making this sound like proof of a relationship as well. Like, can't a friend visit their other friend's kids? Harry's that type of person where like everyone loves him and everyone's like attracted to him and they trust him. Harry's really good with kids. Like if I made a friend and they had kids, I would want to see their kids too, you know? So I don't understand how that's like proof of anything. I mean, it proves that they're close, but that's not like proof of a relationship. And also this account, Fine Line Walls, was noting the coincidence that we always get certain articles about a possible fling on January 4th. I don't know how long you guys have been in the fandom, but beginning of January, and it's usually January 4th, there's usually like all these articles about Harry with a new girlfriend or spotted with a girl, and they also have done that with Louis as well, but more so Harry. And it's just funny that this person is pointing this out, that all these articles about Harry, whether it be Taylor Swift, Kendall Jenner, and now Olivia Wilde, probably other people as well too. It was posted on January 4th. So that's why this account said, so it's always January 4th, should have known. What do you guys think about this? Is this a coincidence? Cause people say once something's happened like three or more times, it's like a pattern. So to me, that seems very staged and contrived. Also guys, I just wanted to add this in. I just typed in Olivia Wilde on Google cause you know, I wanna know more about her. Once I typed in her name, all these articles about Harry Styles and Olivia come up. So we're gonna ignore that for now. Olivia Wilde was born 1984. She's an actress and she's also a filmmaker. She began dating actor and comedian and screenwriter Jason Sudeikis in November 2011. Also guys, sorry if I'm pronouncing his name wrong. They became engaged January 2013. The couple have two children, one son, one daughter. In November 2020, they announced that they had separated at the beginning of the year. It makes sense that her and Harry met. They're both in the arts and entertainment industry. Also guys, regardless of Harry's sexual orientation, there's a lot of guys out there who are not attracted to women and they hold hands with women all the time in like a friendship sort of way. I'm not trying to put a label on him or anything. Regardless of the speculation, I just want the boys to be happy. But anyway guys, write down all of your opinions and thoughts down below. I want to read them because I discussed a lot in this video. I want to hear your guys' opinions on the receipts and articles that I read. And if you guys know anything more about this situation or if there's any more proof out there, please let me know below or DM me on Instagram. But anyway guys, I make a video whenever I want to so like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description and I will see you guys later. Bye.